I had to stand like this, Tosh, and piss. I had to stand sideways because my shoulder and some old guy walks in and I was like, I don't know, you might want to use one of them other ones. This is pretty tight. When you get done, I'm going to have to have you grab my belt and yank me out of here. <laughs> what do you do? All right, let me see. Tell another story. You're entertaining me tonight. Tell me another story. And then what does Richard do? And I'm glad he didn't remember. Every time we saw a UPS truck. Damn it. If I'd have known Mitch was coming all the way to Charleston, I'd have just dropped you off and you could have took your home. <laughs> and then he's like, you want me to drop you off by his house on the way home? I'll drop you off as long as he'll bring you back home later. <laughs> And if we saw you BS right, is that, oh, is it him? A honk. A honk away. <laughs> Leo Dirt, Every time we've seen a flipping And you know Charleston has a bunch of them bitches too. She's sitting over in the bedroom texting this morning, erasing every time she gets a text message. How often do you clear all your text messages? Your mom didn't have a text on her phone from anybody. I, got well, I clear them all the time. I do. I do too, but I mean, if I'm gonna get keep texting that person, I'm gonna delete that shit. I well, mean, I tried to tell Richard thinks that me and him are just all hot and heavy. Does he call me much or text me much anymore? No. No, but I mean, seriously, mom, yeah. nothing is more obvious that you're texting something, like you're doing something you don't want people to know, than I'm gonna delete my messages after every text message. I mean, what are you doing? I mean, hey, I don't Mitch. Care. Come to my house. I'll suck your dick. You want a booby shot? I'll send you a booby shot. I mean, Mom. If you delete pictures, that's what people think. If Or not pictures, but if you delete messages, every time you get one, either he's sending... Would I have shown Richard to text? No, either, you're, either he's sending you pictures of his pee-pee, Mommy, and you don't want Richard to see his pee-pee, <laughs> or something. not sending no pictures like that. My youngest play on my phone. If I ever go through your phone and I see a picture of someone's like penis or like anything like that, Mom, I think I might freak out. No, but I mean, even Tammy texted me. I erased all those texts. <laughs> well, why would you? Why do you do? I told your mom anytime she picked up my phone, and uh, all my texts were erased. My phone's been freezing. I told you that. Well, I'll switch your phones in because mine doesn't do that. Yours has a bigger gig. I'll be fine with that. I can watch all my movies. I can watch Hunger Games during school. You are never happy with I am. But when I'm at school and I have free reign to do whatever the I want in school and I have a movie on my iCloud and I can't watch that and all I can do is sit there and listen to music and go do my current events for like two weeks ahead of time, Mom. And I'm getting A pluses in every class and A's in everything in every class. I mean, I feel like a nerd, Mom. And then Richard goes, well, why don't you try to talk to him? Well, you should, because this is the second or third time you've taken these classes, you fucked hard. <laughs> no! No, your mom told me that he backed way off of talking to her. She said he was trying to be all grabby feeler with her. And then she kissed him, so, I mean, I don't... Why didn't you tell me? See, you weren't like that. You're like, oh, we were holding hands on the pier. And it was romantic. And we kissed. You didn't tell me he was like trying to get some, but Mom. She said that he has not texted but her back or anything since she told him that I that we live together. And I said, Well, Teresa, I'm kind of a big intimidating guy. Not I really. Said, he knows who I am to other guys I am. I'm just worried you I'm said, just worried you'll flip a table again. You were joking around with him and well, picking at that's him. That's what I said. I said he knows who I am. I said, you know, did you explain to him this is like a mutually beneficial thing and most of all beneficial for our children? Well, what other way is it beneficial? I mean Well, and I told her she's like, Well, I can feel it so now he'll ask. Well, no, guys aren't like that. No. Guys are like, if you tell them one thing and you don't explain it into like full content of what it is, they're gonna be like, oh, she's still getting to D from him. Still getting to D. 
And he's still going to pee. I mean, if she don't care, if she don't like him, I told her not to tell him. But I mean, if it was me, I would. If I he to, has. No. Let me tell you. I have to explain myself. It ain't worth it. Well, truth let me, this is a fucking odd situation. Well, let me tell you. You don't you think something. anybody in the world would think it's odd that we're sitting here and I'm sitting here giving you advice about a guy you're dating? Well, first of all. You drink after me if I take a drink? Or do I need I'm not going to drink it. I'm not going to drink it. You know, oh, no, the girl's been sucking on it. <laughs> Richard, Richard. I can't think of it. All right, Richard. I got jeers. Richard. I'm listening. Fuck, what was I going to say now? Probably not the F word again. <laughs> no. I was, was going to say something. What were we just talking about? G E E R, is that a word? Yeah, or sugar. Do G E E R S. There's no G on here. What were we just talking about? The oddness of this situation. What about you? Are you staying here? I forgot what I was gonna say. Shit. Holy fucking ball. You make me feel like a whore, like you're getting tag teaming. Tag, you're it. You can have her for a while. Wait, what? Like you're gonna like Richard's like, oh, go ahead, when Mitch. He's done with me, is he gonna tag you back and you have to take me back? That ain't right. I ain't being with that. Okay. Mom, that would be called that would be called a train. That, that makes no sense at all. Mom, that would be called a threesome. All I'm saying is, is if you like this guy and you like to continue to spend time with him, it is up to you to explain that to him because he's not going to ask because he doesn't want to feel like he's prying into your personal life. What is he going to do? Well, Teresa, that makes me uncomfortable. Are you guys still fucking? You know, he's not going to ask you that. You asked me that. Oh. Well, he, That's because, you know you Mom, yeah. Richard is like, I don't give a fuck what people think yeah. about me. He's I like me. Care. I'll sit there and be like, my boobs itch in school, and I don't even give a damn. I mean, I mean, my ass went numb in history class day. And out loud, I'm like, I need to bring a pillow because my ass is asleep. But what I was going to tell you is he has an Uncle Bobby stash. And that's a huge, I know, I know, I know the guy. Oh, I didn't know you knew him. He has the Uncle Bobby stash going on. Well, as big as your ass is, you didn't just fall asleep. Your ass went all Rip Van Winkle. Because <laughs> that's no little sleep. No. <laughs> I was sitting. I like, I think it was the way I was sitting. I was putting most of my like weight on one butt cheek. And you know what? If you're farting in class... <laughs> Don't tell people your butt's asleep and it's snoring because they aren't going to buy it. <laughs> I don't fart. That's what I'm going to tell your mom. Bro. I'm not farting. My butt's asleep and snoring. <laughs> like what? Sunday? <laughs> you could have used that Sunday, Richard. Your mom's about to snore. <laughs> I didn't fart. My butt had to sneeze. I got a headache. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> No, but Teresa, I'm being honest with you. I mean, if if you think that is the problem, it, it is up to you to talk. I don't know what his problem is. Well, I know, but what I'm saying is, if you feel like that's no matter what age we are, what and why don't you have clothes on? Is it gonna 